Hey guys, and welcome to Thursday. Um, I am just hanging out in my hammock right now after I think I've pulled 12 hours now, maybe more. I did get up at 2.30 this morning. Uh, but I'm having some hammock time before my last meeting at 5 o'clock, and then it will be a uh, dinner walk with the dogs and, uh, and bedtime for me. Um, it's been a very, very cool day. Uh, and a, a couple of things today had made me uh, think about the art of decision making. And the art of decision making actually does revolve and does come back into this hashtag action creates motivation. Um, but there's, there's a lot of people out there that I guess are, are paralyzed. By, by the thought of having to do anything, you know, the thought of having to make a decision. And often that comes from having made decisions in the past that haven't gone so well um, or not making everybody else happy. Like, you know, you get when, when you're in a state where you're trying to keep everyone around you happy and that's an impossible thing to do. So you can't make a decision. So you get into this paralysis where you just can't decide or you're really scared that you're going to make the wrong decision, so instead you don't do anything. Uh, the problem with this is you literally don't do anything. You stay exactly where you are, and the anxiety, the stomach wrenches that you get from not making a decision are horrible. You can't do anything else. You can't move. You can't do the normal things you're supposed to do. All you're doing all day, every day, is sitting around and thinking about should you do A or should you do B or should you do C? And then you come up with D as a different option, you know? It's, it, it, just, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, what you've got to realize is, uh, I suppose, the power that you hold within you when you, you, you can make the decision. You can make the decision. You can make the, any decision at all times. Everything is a choice. Um, and that, that, that's a lot of power that you have. You have power to, to create your own life. Your entire life is a collection of the decisions you've made, right? So if you want to be in control of your life and stop feeling like things are happening to you, which you know, I hear that a lot and I'm overhearing it because you know you made the decision to allow this or to not make a decision out of where you are. Uh, you know, it's that little bit of victim mentality, I suppose. But <laughs> there's the choices that we make, right? So uh, you, don't, you don't want to keep everyone happy. You don't want to be stuck in a place of, uh, you know, can I choose, should I choose A, should I choose B, should I, cho should I choose C? And I tell you, I've done this. I've done this and you just go around and around and around and it chews up all of your energy trying to work it out. If you just make a decision, right, you've got a problem, you have a look at the different options that you've got to solve it, you look up the pros and cons of doing, you know, A, B or C, and then you make a decision. And it actually isn't, you know, about which decision you make. Yeah, sure. Like, you know, you can get good at making good decisions, uh, but any decision is better than no decision because you know what you can do once you've made a decision is make a new decision, right? So if you make a decision and you end up here uh, and then it doesn't work out as well as you thought, instead of sitting around like, oh my God, I can't believe I made this decision. Now I'm here and it's shit. I don't like it. You can actually make a new decision and do something to get out of there. And that's like, and I was talking about this two days ago, that was going to require a lot of change all of the time. But when you've made a decision, you get the result. And from the result, you can learn from it. And when you can learn from it, then you've got more knowledge to make a better decision. I tell you, what the good decision makers of the world have in common. They've made a lot of decisions and they've learned a lot of lessons from them. So they, they become better at making decisions. You're like, I have made some horrific decisions in my life. Uh, you know, and you know, if you look at the types of the types of ways you can make a decision, whether it's intuitively or whether it's uh, by reason uh, or whether it's, you know, by listening to other people, I suppose. Um, you know, I, I've thought I was making a lot of intuitive decisions, but I wasn't an, in a space to do so. And, and although I might've been telling myself that it was a lot about, uh, proving a point, <laughs> uh, trying to prove that I was right. And, and because I wanted to be right so badly, 
once I already could see that the decision wasn't good, instead of taking myself into a new place and going, ah, that was bad, let's, let's keep moving, I'd be like, no, I'm right, I'm staying here, I'm going to prove to you all that this was the right thing to do. I'm going to prove to myself that this was the right thing to do. Stupid, stupid, stupid. As soon as you can see that it's not right, you just make a new decision, you change from there. Uh, but because of all of that, you know, I've become a pretty good decision maker. I've, I've learned when uh, it's a good idea to just hold my breath for a little bit longer and wait for some more facts to come out. Um, but I've made the decision that that's what I'm going to do. If I haven't, you know, see the difference in waiting, there's a difference between waiting to do something at a certain time and not making a decision. If you can't decide whether you should do it now or whether you should wait, you, you're in undecision, you're in like undecisiveness and that's horrible. But if you've gone, yep, I'm waiting until this fact come out. You cool, you can let that go now, it's out of your head and you just have to wait for those facts to come before you do anything about it. Decision is made. So make like being good at decision making and making decisions doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do things before you're ready to do them or do things before all the facts come out. You can definitely uh, you know, be a good decision maker by waiting until the facts come or waiting for more information, or waiting for more knowledge uh, b before you move forward on something. But when you've made the decision that you're waiting until that moment, you can let it go. You don't have to keep thinking, maybe I should do it now, maybe I should do it now, maybe I should, should, should I jump? Should, I don't know. Uh, that's a horrible place to be in. Decide, am I doing it now? Yes, if you are, and this is the other thing, once you've made the decision, you've got to act. You've got to do something about it. Make the decision, move. Like, immediately and the magic comes from that like deciding on something you you make a decision that you're going to do something and the world the universe will provide to you uh you stay in an undecisive place and you just you don't get anything and it's a really frustrating thing i bet every single person here uh you know can relate to that massively look here i've gone again jumping on a live video when my battery's gonna die um but it's pretty basic stuff guys you there is always a decision to make when you when you're in that undecisive i don't know i don't know i don't know you are it is so okay to just decide let it go and if new information comes up that that makes you decide you need to make a different decision so do that uh you know people that know me <laughs> will go oh my god you change your mind every single week who knows what you're actually doing uh but you know that's totally cool like it there's the people close to me might sometimes be like whoa man what are you doing but i make the decision and then i can let it go until new information comes and it's like mm -hmm, well now now i might make a different one a big big thing on here i'll tell you a story I'm, I'm i'm planning to move back to queensland right everyone knows that and it's i keep getting a little bit impatient should i move now or should i wait for this uh, this help that's going to come soon uh, and, and, and do it in a way that's going to be way easier, way more financially, you know, awesome for me, uh, but it's not a guarantee. So oh, should I go now? Should I not go now? Um, and, you know, I got a little bit indecisive about that when I was up there, especially because I was really excited about it. Uh, but, you know, I had to make the decision. What am I going to do? So I've now made the decision. I'm giving myself one more month for more information to come to me. I can analyze that information and then I can make a new decision at that moment. But until then, I'm staying put. I'm not doing anything about it until then. So I don't need to stress. And it works for everything. It works for what time am I going shopping? Am I going to go out on the weekend? Am I going to quit my job? Am I going to move? Am I going to, you know, start this exercise, change this, go to a different gym, you know, uh, whatever it is. And, 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 you know, a lot of these, a lot of these things, you know, we're thinking about other people all the time, but, you know, it's, it's about you, yeah? It's all about you. Uh, okay, yeah, well, feed your family and all that kind of stuff, but you've got to keep yourself happy. You've got to do the right thing for you. And the best first decision you can make for yourself is to just make a decision so you can let it go and let that stress go. And you will be amazed at the free, like the free feeling that you have when you've just decided and you can let it go. You've got all of this energy and all of this mind freeness to go and do other things. So guys, uh, that's it for me today. I am going to jump off before my battery dies. Uh, but have yourselves a wonderful Thursday evening and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.